snotty day. Yeah, it was. Really just gross. So that system's moved on out of here. Here's Michelle with a look at the uh, forecast for Monday. We're going to see a lot of melting this week. Yeah, we are. Temperatures each afternoon climbing well above freezing. In fact, we're much closer to normal highs this week compared to that very chilly start to the month that we had last week. Our live camera in Providence. Even this morning, it's cool, but it's not terribly cold. We're up to 38 degrees now, up a degree in Providence. Feels like 33. Winds out of the northwest at 7. Mostly a westerly wind, and that wind is breezy today and tomorrow, but we've got a dry stretch. So not only are we bringing our temperatures up, but we're bringing our rain chances down. We'll see quiet weather today through the day on Thursday. And as I mentioned, those temperatures more seasonable highs in the 40s and even a few days in the 50s and nighttime lows falling into the 20s. I do have some rain in the forecast for late in the week. We'll time that out for you. Looking at rainfall from yesterday, about a half an inch to an inch of rain fell across southern New England, and that was on top of the coating to an inch of snow and ice that we picked up. It was a nasty day yesterday. Our live Doppler radar back to drier weather today. Find a little patch of black ice here and there if you're traveling around, say, Worcester, Springfield, Hartford areas, even some of the western Boston suburbs. Locally, we're up above freezing and expecting to stay that way with temperatures at 10 a.m. to 42 by lunchtime, 45. Maybe carve out a little time to get out and enjoy the milder air today. It's breezy. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained and gusts to 20 to 30 miles per hour. And that'll make these upper 40s feel a little bit cooler, but Wickford near 48 degrees. We'll have some spots that close in on 50. East Providence near 45 uh, to 50 degrees. Johnston into the upper 40s. Burrowville situate Foster mid 40s. Bristol in the upper 40s. The normal high by now is about 46, and we're going to top that in New Bedford and Westport. Upper 40s to near 50 in Fall River and Seekonk and Attleboro at about 45. We do have a cooler day on Tuesday and then climbing back up to more seasonable highs Wednesday. And we do have these little disturbances that are going to come through. Cold front will bring the cooler temperatures for tomorrow and it will also add ahead of it bring a few extra clouds. Lunchtime still mostly sunny, but watch as the clouds increase some heading into the evening. No precipitation for us here in southern New England. Some snow uh, showers continuing in northern New England. Those all taper off too by tomorrow morning and we're back again to mostly sunny skies. So the afternoons highs near 50 will be dropping through the 40s this evening. Sun setting at about a quarter to seven with the time change. 39 at nine o'clock down to 36 at 11 o'clock. And we will be cooler when you wake up tomorrow morning. Dry and partly cloudy temperatures in the upper 20s. Seven day forecast. So from 50 today to the low 40s for your high tomorrow under mainly sunny skies. We're breezy again on Tuesday. Gusts 20 to 30. Lighter winds on Wednesday near 45 and mostly sunny. Check out Thursday's high near 51 degrees. Another day with a spring feel. Taunt near 52. New Bedford close to 50 and right along the coastline between 45 and 50 degrees. We end the week with some Rainfall right now looking at about a quarter to a half an inch of rain. Lots of clouds throughout the day Friday and showers for much of the day. Right now we're expecting those to clear up by the weekend. It'll be mild still on Saturday and a little cooler on 